So glad to be back here at City Hall in Tulsa with Mayor G.T. Bynum, sir. Thank you so much for having us today. Thanks for coming by. Uh, we wanted to talk to you, of course. The big news in Tulsa is changing Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day, and I know that you all are very excited about that. Uh, can you take us a little bit through the process of how we got from idea to actual announcement? Yeah, you know, right after I uh, was elected mayor, I, I really made it a point to want to visit with the leadership of each of uh, the three tribal governments that intersect here in Tulsa. And one of the things that came up repeatedly in those meetings that we had is that people felt like we ought to be recognizing uh, Native Americans uh, in a, a more specific way on Columbus Day in particular. And so after I came into office this past December, I thought it'd be, oh, okay, we'll take care of that right away. But as so often happens with government, nothing happens quickly. And it took a little longer than I was hoping, but I uh, worked with our Greater Tulsa Area Indian Affairs Commission, and they did a lot of work, a lot of research at what other cities around the country had done, and, and it ultimately developed uh, a resolution that doesn't replace Columbus Day. That, that ended up being a fight in a lot of cities, a fight over a day, when, when the purpose of the exercise here is to recognize Native American heritage in our community. And, and so uh, their recommendation was that rather than have that fight, let's just add Native American Day. And so that's what we ended up doing. And you know, to be honest with you, when I presented it to the city council and I told them the same thing, it, it amazes me that we're only doing this in 2017. Uh, we're, you know, there's probably a few cities uh, in America that have as much of a focal point around Native American heritage as Tulsa does, and yet it took us this long to get the day uh, recognized. But I'm really excited now that uh, we put it forward, the council approved it, I just signed it uh, into effect on Monday, and so we'll have the first one uh, here coming up in just a couple weeks. Be nice if uh, everybody was so unanimously on board with everything that came out of <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was really proud of our city council. Uh, they all said this is a no-brainer uh, and, and unanimously supported it. Um, and so I'm excited to see not just, you know, this first one, but all the ones that we have moving forward, how we as a community can find ways to really better recognize our Native American heritage and, and celebrate it in Tulsa. Yeah, I know. National native news travels pretty fast, and, and some of the national headlines uh, definitely picking it up here, what we're doing in Tulsa. Good. And I know you're probably excited about that, but what's been the, this, the initial feedback? Were you surprised by how uh, excited a lot of people were, or how much news it made? Well, you know, the thing I've been most pleased with was, was to hear from a lot of people in our community, whether they're Native Americans or not, who said, thank you for doing this, uh, that we should have done this a while ago. And it says a lot about our city uh, that the elected leaders of our city unanimously say, this is something we need to be recognizing, and did it. And, and I hope that other cities around the state and around the country will follow our lead on this. Uh, we also, Crete Nation has a big event coming up here in the city of Tulsa having to do with the formation, the birth of Tulsa, really, yes. with the Council Oak Ceremony. Are you going to be able to join us out there this year? I hope so. It, I mean, that, that is such a great, I mean, it's, it literally is the birth of our city, uh, recognizing that. So I hope I can be there. The last thing I want to ask you, Mayor, is, and I know our viewers would like to hear just your perspective at all, but a uh, pretty um, historic uh, case came up recently, mm. uh, ruling pending on jurisdictional uh, boundaries, things like that, uh, in our area. Mm -hmm. How much of an eye have you had on that? Oh, I've, I mean, it's uh, of crucial importance for us just because we want to uh, be following the law and carrying out criminal justice the way it should be carried out and we need people to let us know if, if we've been doing that the right way all these years or if there's some other way we need to be doing it. Uh, but I, I'm not a lawyer, uh, don't pretend to be one, and That's so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm married to one, right, but, uh, as of yesterday, well, oh, she became, she got sworn in, we didn't get married. Uh -oh, right. oh, congratulations <laughs> to her <laughs> on that. Thank you, uh, but no, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, uh, we have a lot of people who are, who, who are much smarter in the law than I am, and so I'm just going to let the, the, uh, courts do their work and see what comes out of that. 
Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate the time, and uh, it's a wonderful thing uh, that we all have done here in the city of Tulsa to not only work together with uh, the city here, but the other tribes as well in conjunction with your office. Uh, it's been a great thing, and I think this is a wonderful announcement. Well, we are always looking for how can we as Tulsa lead, and what are the things, the, the traits that we have that set us apart from competitor cities. And one of the great advantages that we have is our relationship uh, with the tribal nations that are here in Tulsa, and in particular the Muscogee Creek Nation, which represents the majority of our, our city. So uh, I'm, I'm excited about this particular element, uh, how we can work together and celebrate that heritage better uh, moving forward. Uh, but there are so many other good things that we're going to be working on moving forward.